So our topic today is real number system. So first of all we define natural numbers. We represent it by n. Put another set the counting numbers 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 up to infinity. So these are called natural numbers. These natural numbers have two deficiencies. One of them is when we subtract a number from the same number, that is 2 minus 2, for example, is 0, and 0 does not belong to n. So 0 is not a natural number. So this fails here. Secondly, when we subtract a larger number from a smaller number, for example, 2 minus 3 is minus 1, which again is not natural number. Therefore, these are the two deficiencies in the natural number system. In order to eradicate these deficiencies, we eradicate one by one. First of all, we define whole number system. We include 0. 1, 2, 3 and so on up to infinity. So this is whole number system. We include 0 here in, in natural numbers. Similarly, in order to avoid this deficiency, we define z as integers, set of integers. Right? 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 to infinity. Minus 1, minus 2, dot, 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 up to minus infinity. So this is a set of collection of integers. Simply we put plus and minus sign before these counting numbers. And write down like this. This is Z. Z means set of integers. Similarly, this also has a deficiency. The question arises, what happens when we divide a number by number? For example, 2 by 4 is 1 by 2, which is not a perfect number. So we define rational numbers as Q. Defined like this, P upon Q, such that P and Q belongs to N, they are, sorry, belongs to Z, P numerator denominator are belonging to set of integers and q is not equal to zero because if q is equal to zero this becomes infinity meaningless and therefore now we define i as a rational number question is what are irrational numbers the numbers which cannot be expressed as p upon q are called as irrational numbers. For example, all the numbers under the square root, q root, fourth root and so on, they are called irrational numbers. Similarly, we define decimal number system. In the decimal number system, we have two kinds of numbers, terminating or non-terminating okay non-terminating terminating numbers are the numbers non-terminating repeating are rational numbers but non-terminating non-repeating are irrational numbers for example 1.01 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is rational number. But 1.01, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and so on. This is irrational. Here the frequency of repetition is 2. And here is no frequency. Here 2, 3, this, this is varying and therefore frequency is varying and hence this is irrational, this is rational. Okay? And now, we define real number line. So first of all, we define real numbers. What are real numbers? 
a set of numbers which are either rational or rational or irrational are called as real numbers because natural one and two for example three they are natural numbers but they can be written as 1 upon 1 2 upon 1 3 upon 1 so they can also be said to be rational numbers and similarly we have rational numbers this this and this and irrational numbers so a set of collection of rational and irrational combined together give rise to form a new set what is called as real number system this is universal in nature okay and therefore now we define this real number set in the real number line. So first of all, what is a line? A line is a set of collection of points which are very close to each other. When joined together, form a line. When form a line, putting, dire putting arrows at every point direction direct to the same direction. This is a straight line. This is called a straight line. Now when we put a line like this, so this is curvilinear line. When we put arrows at every point of which does not direct to the same direction, so this is curvilinear line. Curvilinear line. And so, and now this is not linear course. State nice. Linearity In fact, in mathematics, it is called as straightness. Siddhi Rekha. This is called linear. Why it is called linear? Because this is a straight line. Because when we put arrows at every point, point to the same direction. Therefore, this is linearity. Linearity is the property of straight lines. Just understand this point. Next, we have a line. This is called real number line. Question is why this is called real number line? Because this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, and so on. And then left hand side we have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 in case of a graph. So when we divide this whole line in regular intervals like this, so these numbers are called as integers. Let us see what happens. We have a lens and we see interval between 0 and 1. So this is 0 and this is 1. And we divide this whole line into 10 parts. Okay. So what is this part? It's called as 1 upon 10. This is 1 tenth part. This is 2 upon 10, 3 upon 10, 4 upon 10 and so on. Similarly, we enlarge this 0 and 1 by 10 into 10 parts. So this first part is what is called as 100. So as such, as such, we take up the particular interval and divide it into 10 parts. Each part will constitute a rational number. Okay. And so between, we say, between the two integers, there always exist infinite number of rational numbers. There also exist irrational number because when we divide numbers, for example, we divide 3 upon 10, 3 and 10, 0, 0, find 3. So, the remainder is 0. So, 0 0.3, this is equal to 0 0.3. This is decimal number system. It is a terminating number, therefore it is a rational number. Sometimes the number may be like this. 1.310310011 and so on so on. So this is irrational. So we can say between two integers, there always exists infinite number of rationals and irrationals. And therefore as such, we are able to define every point of this real number line 
by some number or the other. For example, natural number, whole number, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, and so on. So this line is what is called as set of real number, uh, real number line. Is this clear? Now in our next video, we will take up some example. Thank you.